Hi, everybody. I'm John Flaherty from the Yes Network. I'm at the New York Presbyterian Sports Performance Institute, and I'm joined by three gentlemen here. Joe Chacon is a sports therapist, Dr. Chris Ahmad, New York Yankee team doctor, and also Dr. David Trofa. Now, gentlemen, I am a beat up retired Major League Baseball player, and when I hear Performance Institute, I have no idea what that means. So, Dr. Ahmad, can you fill me in? Well, John, we've all appreciated that there's been an escalation in performance science, sports analytics, the approach to baseball, and that's happening in all sports. The Performance Institute integrates performance science with all the analytics with sports medicine so that we can provide the best quality care to not just the professional athletes who come here, but also the high school, the college, even the recreational athletes. And what's really great is it's easy to get here, they walk right in, and they get treatment in the performance center, and at the same time, they can also be evaluated by me. So it's one-stop shopping for therapy, performance, and evaluation. That's the one part of this whole place that really sounds attractive to me, is that I might be able to get a surgery from Dr. Ahmad, and then I get to deal with you on a day-in, day-out basis, and maybe see Dr. Ahmad at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we just did that today with a, with a Yankee player. And, uh, you know, he came in, Dr. Ahmad evaluated him, have a, had a checkup. We did a full therapy session. We had a follow-up checkup. And that's pretty much how we try to keep things with athletes from the professional level into the high school or even younger, is try to keep it so they don't have to have so many visits and be running around all over the place. They can come here, see the doctor. I go into that visit. I, I see exactly what they're telling them. They tell me what their opinion is. And then we come up with the best plan and, and apply it immediately. Now, Dr. Trofa, when an athlete comes in here, what's the first thing you're thinking about with dealing with them and whatever situation they have? What we're thinking about with every specific athlete is what their issue is, what is their chief complaint, what's their age, their activity level, what are their goals as well, how long have they had symptoms. And really what we want to do is give them a plan to move forward and get back to their activity levels. And we can provide that all here at the Sports Performance Institute. Now we're in this beautiful facility and I'm assuming this is high tech equipment. So just give me an idea of some of the stuff you have here. Yeah, well we have this beautiful Kaiser equipment where it's uh, kind of using air compression so you have constant resistance no matter how fast you go. We have an, an Alter-G, which is an anti-gravity treadmill. We have state-of-the-art game ready units where we can have cold and hot and contrast. One of the big things has been blood flow restriction, also known as BFR, where it gives us the ability to train a muscle without putting a lot of load on it. I'm assuming, Dr. Trofa, that the technology that is in place today is second to none. The level of technology is unparalleled. So it's all state of the art. So whatever the injury is, we have to diagnose it. And that's not just gonna be on physical exam and the history, it's gonna be with diagnostic imaging. And typically that's in the form of x-rays, ultrasound machines, and MRIs. And so we have all of that at our disposal. And then after we get the diagnosis, we also have our orthobiologics, which are new cell-based therapies that we can use to help treat different pathologies that really we didn't have great options for before. Things like platelet-rich plasma, BMAC, which is bone marrow aspirate concentrate, and some of our non-operative providers are even using adipose-derived stem cells to help treat these chronic inflammatory conditions, even osteoarthritis as well. Dr. Ahmad, you mentioned that you're dealing with athletes who are younger, high school, college, and professional athletes. I'm thinking that you probably have to treat them differently depending on what part of their career they're at. You're right. And there's two injuries that we're paying attention to. In fact, I would consider it a crisis. Tommy John injuries in our baseball players mm -hmm. and the non-baseball players are seeing ACL injuries at the youngest ages. So our job here is not only to treat those injuries, get them back on the field, but to prevent those injuries. And many of those injuries are preventable. Dr. Trofa, knee injuries are your specialty. And I'm gonna ask the same question. If a teenager comes into this facility, is he going to get the same type of care that say a Yankee player would get here? Absolutely. Whether it's a high school student, a collegiate athlete or a pro athlete or one of our weekend warriors, they're all gonna get the same high level quality of care. However, we're gonna customize their treatment and they're gonna get a tailored treatment program. Dr. Ahmad, let's talk on a broader scale here. What impact do you wanna have on the sports community here? What we want to do, at the minimum, an ability to prevent injuries that are preventable. That's our number one goal, keeping dreams alive. 
So these young kids who are aspiring to throw as hard as they can and get to college, and the college kids who want to get to the next level, the professional level, if they have a preventable injury, that's our job, to intervene before it happens, and that's what we can do here. On the other hand, if they do get injured, they need an accurate diagnosis, they need rapid treatment because they need to get back on the field as soon as they can. And so some of our treatments now, whether it's surgical or non-op, get them better faster and more reliably.